Yes, I want to be. Lord Jesus, I want to be more like you in my heart. Yes, in my heart. We bring you greetings again from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and from the Shallow Missionary Baptist Church here in Largo, Florida, where the Reverend Edward B. Hobson is serving as our pastor. We thank God for them allowing us to come your way every Wednesday afternoon. We, 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 we thank them and we bless them. We pray for them to continue to help us get the word of God out. Let us go to the throne of praise. Father God, we come again in the most humblest manner that we know. We come, Father, with thanksgiving in our heart. We thank you, Father, for what you have already done for us, what you're doing for us right now. Thank you, Father, for the healing of our bodies. We thank you for our mind and the healing. We remind us in you that we can move and help our beings. So we say thank you, Father. We thank you for Jesus Christ. For salvation. We thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Father, for your Holy Word. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for your love for your salvation of us. We say thank you. Thank you for your church. And Lord, we thank you for giving us the parents and the adults to teach us as we were coming along. We say thank you, Father. And Lord, now we let you ask you to let us down into your storehouse of wisdom and knowledge. Above all, give us understanding. And Lord, Remember the sick and the shedding everywhere. All of us are going through. Remember them in a special way. Have mercy upon them, Father. We, we, we need you. We can't get along without you. We know that you're the great physician. So do what you do best, Father. We're going to them. Those that are going through trouble or relationship problems or whatever. Don't see how they go make it, Lord. Uh, help them to understand and remember that you should have the way, the truth in their life. Lord bless us. Let our words of our mouth, meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, we say welcome to the Saturday of Midweek. Can't sing. Amen. Our scripture is coming from uh, the fifth chapter. And beginning with the 13th verse, and you find these words You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has become tasteless, can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under the foot of man. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. No, does anyone light a candle, a lamp, and put it under a basket? But 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 on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good work. And glorify your Father who is in heaven. So read Matthew, the 
fifth chapter, verses 13 through 16. And we want to talk to you today from this thought. Uh, Are you are you are you influencing anyone as you journey along this way? How is your influence? Uh, are you influencing anyone as you journey along this way? You want to be making an impact. On someone, and you journey this way up. It's Romans twelve, verse one through two says, "I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice." holy and acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. We ought to be making an impact, uh, influencing somebody to be journey this way. We all impact others, whether we are aware of it or not. I can remember when I was young, and, and we used to be working out in the fruit groves. And I wasn't no great uh, fruit picker, but I was But I, I, I did experience a little bit of it, and there was an older man out there. He could use profanity like no one I ever seen. I mean, and it looked like when he did it, he did it so pretty. And I, I was thinking, I said, boy, if I, if I ever grow up to 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 church like him, I, I, want, I want to be able to use that kind of language. I want to be able to curse like him. He didn't know it then, but but he was having an impact. That probably a lot of people wanted to be able to talk like this man talk. What I'm trying to say is everybody has an impact on somebody. Whether you're aware of it or not, the, the degree varies according to each individual sphere of influence and opportunities. But all of us touch other people's lives for good or bad. Only Christians, though, can have a spiritual influence because of the influence that Christ has had on us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Christ alone becomes our influence by the, and the other thing is because he lives in us. Yeah, he lives in us, he lives in us. And you know, it's something to be said about a Christian. If you're a Christian, you know something. As a matter of fact, the word said that you draw your priesthood, peculiar person. He said, Here, Mr. Dunlap say, and took it to a man that was driving a Cadillac. He looked at the Cadillac and looked at the guy and said, You know you somebody. And he said, Well, I'm not a man. He said, You drive a Cadillac. 
thing. You do not know me if you got to kill like hubcaps. For you chicken to drink water out of you some kind. So if you got Jesus Christ in you, you showing up. You are somebody. He said in the word that you're a royal priesthood. And if you're all of that, then you ought to be able to have some influence on other people's for their spiritual good. It begins with those close to us and extend outward as far as the Lord. Alive. The power of, of our influence is determined by the integrity of our life. To help us understand that Jesus used two common terms, salt and light, to emphasize the importance of character and lifestyle. For the effect of our witnessing for him. Yeah, for the effect of our witnessing for him. You are the salt of the earth. Matthew 5 and 13. Salt is different from the substance. It touches. And the same is true for believers. We are different, separate from the world we, uh, we influence. So Corinthians 6 and 17 say, in society, in a society characterized by singing, a holy and purified stand in stark contrast. We are warned in Romans 12 and 2 not to be conformed to the world, this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. We're not to be conformed to it, but to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. We relate to the world as salt does with the substance it touches. Salt flavors. It has the power to turn what is tasteless into something enjoyable. In the same way, we bring flavor to a world filled with people whose lives are empty and void because. They don't know Jesus Christ. Another thing is salt preserves. In Romans times, salt was a very valuable commodity because it was the only means of preserving food. We should have a similar preserving influence on a corrupt world. A witness can help turn an unbeliever to Christ and preserve them from the decay of sinful choices. Not only but salt penetrates the Holy Spirit uses our godly examples and witness to drive the truth into the heart and in such a way 
that it permeates the entire person. No one in the right to say, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. So, not only do it to the traits, flavors, opposite, but so create a thirst. Believers are living examples of spiritual transformation. The joy and peace and the contentment that Christ gives us are attractive to thirsty souls. And the salt is drawn to the Savior. I only do it to create a thirst, but salt is quiet. Sometimes I draw people to Christ through the quiet means of observation. And they see our godly behavior. Christ's response and patient endurance. Their heart may be open to the gospel. Yeah, and the salt heals. The salt gives relief to sore throats. So we are called to offer healing to the broken world. Compassion, kindness, and a listen here. Let hurting people experience Christ's love through us. Yeah, Jesus is the warning. You are the salt of the earth. But the salt has lost become tasteless, that is. How can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled on the people's feet. Matthew 5 and 13. In those days, salt was collected from the evaporated sea water. It was strapped, scraped out from the ground along with impurities. If there were too many impurities, the salt became tasteless and useless. Sin had the, had the same effect on corruptive influence on our ability to impact those around. For Christ, yeah, it messes up our ability to impact those around us for Christ. That is, impurity does. Whether a believer tolerates sin, when a believer tolerates sin, he or her Become impure. And those who like the world have nothing different to offer them. You are the light of the world. 
Matthew 5 and 14. According to 1 John 1 and 5, God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. Jesus also said, I am the light of the world. And John 9 5, yet another he declares to those who have trusted him as Savior, you are the light of the world. Matthew 5 and 14, then he adds, your light must shine before your Father who is in heaven. Verse 16, my light is not my own, but rather a reflection of Christ within us. God does use that light to draw people to himself, not to us. So he alone receives the glory. We pike and influence people around him. Just as light does in darkness. Light is clear and pure. Our lives should be characterized by purity and clarity. The person we are in public ought to be able to see Christ living in us. Light reveals what is hidden in the darkness. When we are characterized by godliness, those who are righteous see the difference between their lives and us. Sometimes they feel guilty because they're living in the shoe. Yes. Our lives are so different. Open the door to us to share the good news with them. Another thing, light drives away dogs. When people are uncomfortable around us, it might be because they are feeling the conviction of the Holy Spirit. This could lead to antagonism and even persecution. John 3 and 19 says, the light has come into the world and people love the darkness rather than light. For those things were evil. But um, sometimes the Lord uses light in us to bring them from darkness to salvation. It's a light drives that darkness away. Love guides. People use us like a lamp to guide the believer into the path of truth. Light warns not light, we can't see the obstacle before us. And this is spiritually true for the Lord. 
we can learn warn them that they are in danger and need a savior. Yeah, we can let them know that they need a light along the way. Not only that, but light warns. Without light, we can't see the obstacles before us. We can warn them that they are in danger. And need to save your light warns again. We should never be cold and un feeling toward those trapped in darkness. We need to know we care so they can see Christ love through us. They need to know that we love them. So that we can convey the fact that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. While Jesus was in the world, he was the light of the world. John 9, But now he's at the Father's right hand in heaven. He left his church here to be the light of the world. For the church proclaim the word of God is a bright beacon showing people the way to salvation. Another warning, and I'm going to leave you alone just as it may useless by impurities. So light becomes ineffective if it does not shine brightly. Sin in our lives, like no always covering the glow of our being. But thank God that we don't have to worry about the light. If we let the light of the Lord shine in us, if there, if you were the only Christian, someone knew who would see Christ. Right in you all. You need to know Jesus. I want what you have. If we love like Christ said love, do it the way he said do it. We would be the light and the soul. Amen. We will be more like him. And we'll be more like him in our in our heart. And he can make us like him. Father, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for your word. Help us to be more like you. And let someone know that. You said that we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our that you have raised him 
from the dead that shall be saved. Would have been something that we've said help somebody to be an influence as they make this journey through this world. Help us to lead somebody to you. We pray. And then if someone accepts you as Lord and Savior, help them to get into a church that is teaching your word. This we ask. In the matchless name of Jesus, good evening. Yes, I want to be like you, Lord. Just like you, Lord. Amen. Yes, amen. I want to be just like you. <laughs>